Number 1. Old Town. A functioning university town and not just an outdoor museum, the compact core of Chambury is most people's idea of the perfect old town. It's not very large, but you could wander for hours without feeling like you've quite seen it all. That's to do with the vaulted passageways, similar to the travels in Lyon. These lead into secret courtyards and out onto parallel streets and alleys no broader than arm's width. Number 2. Place St. Ledger. Despite its name, Place St. Ledger is more of a long street than a city square, and is Chambery's main pedestrian thoroughfare. Along its length the street opens out to large areas with restaurant and cafe seating, then tapering to just a few meters across, and is paved all along with pink granite. The buildings, a big jumble of styles and eras, are painted in all kinds of pastel colors. Number 3. Fontaine des Elephants. On many postcards and possibly Chambery's main identifier, the Fontaine des Elephants dates to 1838 and is listed as a French historical monument. On the fountain's plinth are four elephants, one on each side, with only the head and front legs protruding. This has given the fountain the affectionate nickname, Les Cotter Sans Coles, the four without butts. Atop the 17-meter column is the statue of Benoit de Boigny, the man who the fountain commemorates. Number 4. Chambery Cathedral. Although quite small the city's cathedral still has much to recommend it. Most noticeable is the interior which has some 6,000 square meters of extravagant Italian trompe l'oeil painting, the largest ensemble in Europe and composed in stages in the 1800s. Before becoming a cathedral this structure had been a church attached to a Franciscan monastery and for a time in the 1400s it was home to the Shroud of Turin. Number 5. Musée des Beaux-Arts. The Fine Arts Museum is further proof that Chambery hasn't always been French, as nearly all of the works hanging here are Italian. These date to between the 1300s and 1700s, and start with the primitives. The 14th-century altarpiece depicting the Trinity by the Sienese artist Bartolo di Frati is sublime, and from there you can trace the evolution into the Renaissance, Mannerism and the Baroque, from the Neapolitan, Venetian, Florentine and Bolognese schools. Number 6. Les Charmettes. As a young man the polymath Jean-Jacques Rousseau lived in this pretty country house in a wooded hollow on the edge of Chambery. He stayed here from 1736 to 1742 with his mentor and mistress Madame de Warrens, and later in life he described his time in Les Charmettes in idyllic terms. Ever since Rousseau became an icon of the Enlightenment and Romantic movements people have come to Les Charmettes to understand why it was so dear to Rousseau. Number 7. Chateau des Ducs de Savoy. Holding sway over Chambery's old town, this dominating building was where the Lords of Chambery and then the Dukes of Savoy called the shots for hundreds of years. It's exciting to know that you're looking at the stronghold for a whole sovereign state before Savoy was annexed to France. The building is an architectural medley, with fragments that are almost 1,000 years old. Number 8. Rue Basse du Chateau. Dubbed the oldest street in Chambery, Rue Basse du Chateau is a crevice-like alley in the pedestrianized center. Like most old medieval arteries, it's incredible narrow and intersects with more of Chambery's passageways. Above your head there's one remaining wooden walkway traversing the street. There were many more in the past, but these were dismantled because they pose a fire hazard and block the light. Number 9. Rotonde Ferriviere. The finest piece of industrial heritage in the city is this colossal circular cast iron behemoth built between 1906 and 1910. The rotunda has a diameter of more than 100 meters and was constructed to house up to 72 locomotives when they weren't in use. It took some damage in the war, but was restored and is still a part of the railway infrastructure and a permanent home for many retired locomotives. Number 10. Hotel de Cordon. If you've booked a guided tour of the city with the tourist board it will most likely start at this 15th century hotel particulier on Rue Saint-Riel. Talks about the city's history are given here, 
and inside there's an interpretation center for Chambery's architecture and heritage, with a small exhibition of models and paintings that outline the changing appearance of the city since medieval times. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.